Yo dudes, welcome to the video. I think many of you have been waiting for this one. Um, before the end of this one, we're gonna have the caddy lowered. So I know that there's probably a few questions around that, such as what kind of kit am I getting to lower it? Um, how low am I gonna go? And also, do I have a massive speed bump that I have to get over in order to park the van? So we're gonna go through the questions. I'm gonna answer them all before the end of the video. But I thought, obviously, because I've got uh, professional it's actually been recommended to me to 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 get the van lowered itself i thought i would whilst i've got everything go through the kit that i've purchased here in the house before it goes on the van make things a little easier so you'll see exactly what it comes with um and you'll see the reasons behind why i chose the one that i did so the kit itself i've chosen is the stance plus coilover kit um open it up we'll have a look through the box it's quite dusty truth be told i've had this kit way before i had the wheels it's just been sitting in the living room so um getting in the way basically so super chuffed that it's finally going to be out there and on the van like it should be so before we even open the box i just thought i'd go into a couple of reasons why i actually chose this stance over sort of anything else out there on the market um it wasn't i wasn't necessarily looking for the best thing i was looking for the best thing for me um so Knowing how I use the van, what I do with the van, I'm never going to take it on track, so I'm not looking for the, the highest performance suspension ever. Most of the roads that I drive on are A roads, so dual carriageway, motorway, single lane, national speed limit roads that are nice and smooth. Um, so I don't really need, like my opinion is that I don't really need to improve the suspension that the van's got already, but obviously I want to go for a lower look um, and I needed to choose some suspension that accommodated how low I wanted to go um, with the van. So the stance was kind of ticking a lot of the boxes. Um, in all honesty, the one that it was putting me off the most was the price point, because compared with what else is out there, it's a, it, it is a budget coilover. Um, so, you know, I, I pretty much run on the theory if you buy cheap you buy twice it's a saying that's used quite a lot but you know it stands out to be quite true so you know they've got a two-year warranty we'll see how they get on um, and if it needs to come back and be revisited later then it can be come back and be revisited later uh, lesson learned essentially if that is the case but you know I couldn't find anything negative on the internet about them and I looked and looked and looked everything's like super positive everything's really good and like i said with the roads that i drive on i don't even need to to improve the handling of the van itself that's not what i'm looking for i'm just looking for it to sit lower than it is currently um so that's a hundred percent behind the reason that i chose what i chose so what we'll do is we'll go through and i'll show you exactly what the kit entails um and then i've also got something extra as well uh I can't remember the names. Let's look at the front phalanges and then we'll move on to the back phalanges. So open the box up. This is what you face with straight away. So obviously just everything packaged. So the uh, I think they call this a key to, to raise and lower. Basically, I'm going to find the height and I'm never going to touch it again. So inconsequential to me. But, you know, so open it up. We've got these two straight away. So these will be the rear shocks. Essentially, like, I'm no expert, I'm not going to pretend like I can talk you through it, but it's just to give you an idea of exactly how it comes. So, that's going to be the rear shocks that go on. Uh, I'll put them away, move them to the side, and then we'll do the front bits. Okay, and then, so here we are. Like that. Okay, so I'm not going to pretend like I'm an expert and I know what I'm obviously talking about in depth, blah, blah. Um, so my understanding is this is a removable collar. Um, so depend upon the caddy you have, apparently the hubs are different sizes or, or, or the bit that this slots into is a different size. So it's got a removable sleeve to fit either. And then just moving up. I mean, that's essentially what we're looking at. 
and that's exactly how it comes out of the box and so this this is the second box that comes with it for the caddy and this is because on the rear of the caddy is a, a leaf spring with a with a solid axle so basically it's a flip kit so rather than the suspension sitting on top of the axle it removes the suspension to below the axle and as a result reduces the ride height so again this is what we've got and then the hangers as well so two two hangers as well for the one side and loads of adjustment in the back to choose multiple heights um, and obviously we've got the shocks in the box there so yeah that should be um, that should be fairly straightforward and that's basically everything that comes within the kit obviously got some bolts and things like that as well and so that's everything that comes with the stance plus kit um, now I did purchase one more thing and I figured rather than do it at a later date, I would just get everything done at the same time. And basically when you lower a caddy, my understanding is because of the way the rear suspension set up, the lower you go, the further forward the rear wheel moves inside the wheel arch. So it basically comes from centre and moves forward so it's, it's not centred anymore once it's lowered. So the other thing I bought is some centralising plates. So these basically go into the mount that's already there. But rather than have the mount go directly through and, and be where it was originally, it has an offset bit essentially that, that resets where the rear axle goes and moves it back into the place that it should be in where it was originally before you lowered it, if that makes sense. But yeah, so just these two, nice. These two plates, one for each side, so they're going in as well. So hopefully once it's together, it won't have to be taken apart again and that's it kind of done where it is both with regards to the height and also everything that's getting done and let's hope these hold up as i hope they will that's everything we're doing that's everything we're putting on yeah i'm going to put these in the van now and then when it's done and sorted uh, i'll do a before and an after but when it's done and sorted I'll give you an idea of sort of how low i've gone and what it looks like all right so uh it's done and it looks amazing um I'll do a video in an, a couple of weeks once I've got used to driving it and things like that just to give like feedback on, on how it handles and things since it's been done. But it's uh, it's sitting pretty low like. So, <clears throat> speed bump next to where I park it. If I attack it straight on, it scrapes. If I attack it at an extreme sideways angle, I'm good. So. It's the sacrifices you've got to make I'm afraid um, on the back it's at its lowest setting and then the front's been done to match and um, the guy who did it for us did a fantastic job uh, literally can't praise him high enough now I've been speaking a few years in the comments and I know that some years are local so I'm not gonna say his business name um, but if you're interested and in, in want to use him he's based in Durham um, if you're interested and want to use him, I'll figure out a way to get you his information because he did a, a fantastic job and like I swear by him. And like I said, he got recommend, recommended to me as well. Um, the only reason that I won't share his business name is small business. Um, I made the mistake of in a video a while ago before anyone watched my channel other than the few people who do now. I made the mistake of sharing my business name and, and literally within a week I had my identity stolen. So that's the reason why I won't do it. Um, always err on the side of caution for, for small businesses and stuff. So like I said, if you're interested and you're local and, and you you want to do the same thing and looking for someone who's decent, I'll happily figure out a way to get you the information. Um, but for now, I'll just not, not say who it is basically. Um, so without further ado, I hope you're excited i love it like i literally can't say how much i love it um and it's and it's helped me visualize what the van's going to look like with a few more things that i want to do done to it so might as well just go out and, and give you a show around
there we are. Um, huge goal ticked off the list, and it's starting to really come together now, I think. So, allow my wallet or bank account to take a bit of recovery, and we're going to move back into the cabin now. Um, obviously, I've left certain bits and pieces out of the way. But yeah, move back into the cabin. I'm going to do some stuff to the cabin. Um, and hopefully, it should be sort of cheap enough to allow me to to <clears throat> to do um, to do what I want to do, but at the same time, be able to save a bit more money to to do a couple of other things um, or, or a lot of other things that I want to do to it. But anyway, that's it for the video. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments, whether you like it, dislike it. I know obviously it's it's like personal taste. It's 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 taste to me, and, and obviously I've explained the reasons why why I went with what I went with, and and, and why I've gone so low. If it was for different reasons, then I, I would have done things differently. So I get that everyone's got individual tastes, you know, and why this may be a bit extreme for some people. Other people may love it. Other people may think it's not extreme enough. Um, I didn't have the four grand to get it bagged and done, no. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon for the next one, and have a good one. See you later. Bye.